So now we would like to answer all your questions you might have. Okay. <laughs> so Pia, well, in the meantime, was on the uh, email sc uh, screen. And uh, do we have some first questions? I have a question here from uh, Oko from Diamond, Japan. It's actually not a question about uh, repairs or something. It's, uh, he is asking um, that, or actually he is telling us that he had a very good response about the Mil Chi watch from the, from the customers. So he is asking if we are planning to produce similar models, for example, another colored dial. So I think we have answered um, in some way already this, answer, uh, this uh, question, sorry. As Mr. Schneider um, just explained, we have the new Extreme Sport line coming up, which is uh, the construction is the same as the Mail G, with a double case, um, inner, inner case and outer case, all in steel, a different um, dial. So this is uh, one of the Extreme Sport line, which will be similar to the Mail G watch. For the Mail G itself, we will um, certainly think about having maybe another dial color or something that that's certainly a possibility. So I hope this question is answered. Thank you. Then we have, um, then we have some um, questions. There's also another question. Yeah, maybe Mr. Schneider. Or okay. Yeah, we have here um, another question. Um, which accuracy does the ETA automatic movement 2824-2 provide? Well, this is a, a very technical question, and uh, I'd like to hand over to Thomas whether he has uh, an answer to this question. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, uh, this is quite a question which we, we get uh, every week. So uh, on the automatic um, um, watches, normally we have about plus minus uh, 15 seconds a day. Uh, this is what uh, what ETA uh, says about our uh, our movement. Uh, in some in some cases we we have we have better results. Plus minus 10 is is also possible. Huh? But uh, you know, uh, uh, quartz movements are much better than the, than the, than the automatic movements. So we have this, uh, this uh, plus minus uh, 15 seconds we have on quartz movements in, in a month. And uh, on mechanical movements uh, only in one day. So you can see the difference between quartz movements and, uh, and mechanical movements. Huh? Okay. So we have another question. You finished? Yes. Sorry. So we have another question from uh, Graham Green from United Kingdom. He is asking the Extreme Watch is it a steel outer case? So maybe Mr. Schneider would like to, to, to um, answer this. You have just referred mm -hmm. about this watch. Well, uh, correct. The, um, the the uh, civil version of this uh, Mil G watch is called the Extreme Sport uh, version, and the uh, outer frame, in this case for the Extreme Sport models, is a steel um, part. This adds a little bit of weight, but it adds also of um, of robustness and. Um, and uh, and uh, is is the difference actually to the to the military version? Um, of course, and you see this is one of the advantage of this kind of construction. Uh, the the models that uh, we're preparing now for for this summer are, are a combination of inner container steel. The extreme sport, the civil version, is then a um, uh, steel frame as well, um, but this construction is so modular 
you can see that uh, the, the depending on, on, on the feedback we get from you and your customers, um, we are prepared to make other combinations. You can imagine that if you use this um, container and frame construction, you could, on the outer side, to reduce the weight, we could use a, a titanium frame, which would reduce the, 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 the weight um, remarkably. Of course, it would add a little bit of, of cost, but um, um, a lighter white watch usually is, is also more expensive. Uh, we can also think about the civil version with, um, with the uh, uh, fiber, um, uh, glass fiber reinforced resin as a civil version. And, but we're open to this. This is the, the reason why we love to have feedback for you. Tell us your needs and what your customer wants.